So in this video we will take a look how to create a new upload field button. For that we will go to the upper right corner and click the button add upload field. I will do so. Now the settings will open up. First of all I have to enter a unique field name. For example field 2. Now the other thing which is very important is also the field name in card. So once a customer have uploaded a an, an file added it to cart, they will also see a label and you can define it here. So it can be for example uploaded file or for example your uploaded file, whatever you like to fill in, but it's just important that you will fill both of them. So next thing you're going to do is you can change the labels, for example upload an image, double point, you can change everything according to your imagination. Here you will find a the um, in dialog message in the pop-up so once they click on the button the, po the pop-up will open up and here are also some sentences which you can adjust but you don't have to if you don't want then we can go to design here in design i think these are the most important settings that you can change also the label color here and also the button background color for example let's choose maybe yeah a, a pink color like this then you can scroll further down. There's another very important settings. This is the dialog language. The dialog language, that means what will be shown in the pop-up. So if you're from France, then please choose French. If you're from Spain, please choose Spain. Accordingly, what your target audience is like. Okay, then we can go further. How you want to show the uploaded files, how they should be displayed on the product page. So we have a container and an original image style. It's a small square. We can just use the container, it's a very modern kind of displaying it. Here you can define the behavior, you can define if you want to have just a single file uploaded by your customers, a set of numbers or unlimited files, in my case single file is fine, what kind of file types, some of the uh, merchants they like to just receive image files and you can click here but also other kind of specific file types, in my case any type of file is good, I can now also allow a text field for each uploaded image if there are further instructions from my customers I want to receive. I can also enforce the maximum length and also I can decide if this field should be required or not. I can in general make this upload button a required field so I, then I will turn this on. In my case it's not required so I will just keep it off. We can allow cropping, editing, we can also allow an, a minimum image size, then we define the pixels here. We can also define the maximum file size, for example 2 MB, but in my case we don't have to do it. And here we can define from which sources the image can be uploaded, right? So now we come to the other very important setting. This is the last one, this is the targeting. That means on which products or variants I want to show my upload button. So you can rather say all products, specific products, specific variants, specific collections. Let's say we want to show it on specific products. We can go here, choose products. We can scroll to the list of products, for example, this one. We can click done. And um, once this is done, don't forget to save. Now this field is getting generated. You can see it here, field number two. And now it's very important that you will not go to the Wix editor because then you will not see the, f the field. You have to open it in a completely new tab like a user, so not from the Wix editor. So this is what I'm doing right now here. Let me first of all refresh it because I had another button here, I removed it. Now it should be pink, let us check it. Right, so now the pink button is showing and your customers can get started uploading their files.